Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, mm -mm, kisses. My name is Rosalind, but you can call me Rosie for short. And I can't believe the month of August went by so fast. And the month of August was a lot of fun for us because it was my little sister's birthday. It was little Lynn's birthday. It was back to school. So, so many happy things going on. So for the month of August, I feel like this time, I am on track because the last few months that I've done the favorites, I felt like I did it last minute. And this time I have a few healthy food, vegan items to share and a little bit of everything as always. So without talking anymore, let's begin. <laughs> okay, so one of the first things that I have is this perfume oil by Kumba Made. And this is Wind Dancer. So if you have seen my other videos, you know that I always like natural, healthy options for everything. And this is one of them. I haven't used conventional perfume for so many years. And I always go for oil-based perfumes. And I like that this one is such a small bottle, but it will last such a long time. It has a roll-on application. And I like to apply it on my wrist, behind my ears. And this is something that... I like doing in the morning when I'm getting ready for the day or at night time when I take a shower or even if I'm not feeling good, all I need is to smell good. I don't know why but that at least for me it helps, it puts me in such a good mood. And this is actually my third bottle and I think this is the same one I gave my sister for her birthday, the same scent. And I just like how it's good quality, it will last throughout the day and I really like that and I like that it's so small and it fits in my purse so perfectly and apart from that it has natural oils instead of chemicals like conventional perfumes that are expensive and this is cheaper and healthy for your body <laughs> okay next I have this little bottle and this is Moon Danny and this is a breath mist. So this is again very natural. It doesn't contain a lot of harmful chemicals or sweeteners or artificial flavors like the ones that you find at conventional stores. And one of the main ingredients is ginger and all you have to do is shake it really really well because the first time I tried this, I didn't like it at all. And then by the second time, I did make sure to shake it well, and I did like it, and now I love it. And just keep in mind that if you wanna have good breath, like good smelling breath all the time, it all depends on the foods that you put in your body. It doesn't do a lot if you put meat in your body, and then you wanna try to get rid of that smell that's inside of you. Yes, this does help, but it's much better to put like fruits and veggies inside of you in your tummy and that would just naturally create such good breath. But this is a quick fix like if you're in a rush, if you're running late, if you're going on a date, whatever the case it is, but this is a really good alternative. So I really recommend this one for being cruelty free and vegan. I'm gonna leave everything in the description box. Okay, next I have this tooth powder and this is basically to clean your teeth. The one that I have is by EcoDent and this is basically baking soda mixed with mint. And what I like about this, it's fluoride free, it whitens your teeth, so it's not as harsh as the regular toothpaste. And of course, it's cruelty free, not tested on animals, it's vegan no parabens, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial colors. It has essential oils and it is so easy to use. All you have to do, just grab your brush, get it a little bit wet and then you sprinkle some of this on the toothbrush. It's just powder and I just love using this at nighttime. In the morning, I use regular um, toothpaste. I use Tom's, which is cruelty free. And this is such a small bottle, but it will last such a long time. This one, for example, says that it can last up to 200 brushing. So can you imagine how much that is? Almost a year if you use it just once a day like me. But yeah, I love it. And yeah, I just love how small it is. So you can take this if you're traveling in your purse. So yeah, gotta love it. <laughs> 
Okay, next some yummy foods, some yummy things. Next I have nutritional yeast and this is really common, very popular for vegetarians. Actually more vegans, I'm not sure, but this is a great replacement for cheese. So this is plant-based and this is so good on any food. It can be on veggies, it could be on popcorn, baked potatoes. I like adding this on my rice and getting that cheesy flavor. And apart from that, it has B vitamins, including B12, provides eight grams of protein per serving. And yeah, I just love this. It's a great cheesy flavor. If you're transitioning to a vegan diet or just because you wanna start eating healthier because regular cheese contains cholesterol, the one derived from animals, but this one that is plant-based won't have any cholesterol, so that is great. And even with this, you can even create like a cheesy sauce, like for chips, I've done it before, and it tastes so, so good. <laughs> okay, next I have this, and this is non-stick cooking spray. And what I like about this, it's by the brand Kelapo. This is made with extra virgin coconut oil, so I like that. It's cold pressed, unrefined, and I love using this when I'm going to bake cookies so that they don't stick. Um, maybe if I'm going to cook something, like any food, if I'm going to make pancakes. So this is so great. This is such a healthy option, and I love it, and I love coconut oil. So yeah, I just love having this in my kitchen. So yes, I recommend it. <laughs> okay, the next thing that I really like, and I don't have it with me, but it's from Smoothie King. And last month, I tried one of their protein smoothies, and it was the vegan mango kale. And I noticed that most of their smoothies are plant-based, which makes them vegan, but they had a section where they add protein powder to the smoothies, and I was looking at the vegan section, and they happen to have the vegan mango kale and that one has the sun warrior protein powder which i've tried before and i love it it also had kale mango bananas apple and almonds and it was so so delicious and we actually went with my boyfriend because we had a coupon buy one get one free and he got the dark chocolate banana which again has the sun warrior protein powder 100 percent cocoa bananas and acai and yeah, his smoothie was good, but I preferred mine. I found mine delicious because I just love the taste of fruit. So I really liked mine and I recommend it. So if you ever go to Smoothie King, just get the mango kale. So, so good. <laughs> Okay, and the last thing that I, I want to talk about is a documentary. So I love watching documentaries and it had been a long time since I didn't see one. And the one that I saw was Twinsters and it's available on Netflix. And maybe you've seen it before. I think this is from last year. I'm not sure, but it's about two sisters. They're twins and basically they were separated at birth because they were adopted by different families so i like that in the movie you get to see when they find about each other and one lives in america in the u.s and the other twin lives in i think france or in the uk i think she was raised in france but she was living in the uk so i just like seeing in the movie how they got to know each other they would call each other, make these long hour phone calls, just talking about them, just getting connected once again, and how they were setting up to meet each other in person and to meet their biological mother. So yeah, it's it was just a nice movie and I liked the way it was edited. It was a funny and sweet type of documentary and they actually met through their friends because they saw one of the twins in a youtube video so i thought that was so cool i think that i really do believe that when things are meant to happen you know the universe will align things and events for things to happen so that's it you guys these were some of my favorites for august and i'm curious to know what are your favorites of august you can share them with me in the comment section and don't forget that if you have liked this video you can give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed you can subscribe and that way when i make a new video you will get a notification 
So thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Kisses. Bye. I have nutrition nutrition <laughs> okay okay and the last thing no and that smoothie also have